and this is a full moon reading for the month of November 2019 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this full moon Wow ladies and gentlemen there are changes um, so this is for the hurt energy people uh, Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and if you would like to have your own extended on demand um, full moon reader you can use the link below because each and every person has their own individual um, reading but it's only on on demand okay um, what is going to be happening is that I'm going to be um, trying to put a little extra mini part for the Sun people and for the moon people at the end of this video so I'm gonna put the link below so that you can see what's happening for the Sun people and for the moon people for the extended reading remember all three readings three readings is 15% off um, enjoy because now the Taurus the Virgo and the Capricorns have your own full moon reading so that's wonderful and this is really for the people who do the on demand because there's so much extended reading so check this one out let me know how it goes because this format then I can use um, for the rest of the people if you would like to have because I have to do these full moon readings with only element okay but only element so um, I only do the extended for the people who really um, order the and um, on demand okay all right um, so it is a lot so um, for you heart sign people remember at the end of this video I'm doing an extra little video um, for the Sun moon and for the moon people that mean the Sun people who were born from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. moon people from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the mo uh, morning okay so um, there's a lot of changes and I'm, I'm changing it up because if even that you can't pay for a full reading you can always check out the extended because it will help you my readings are timeless um, trust me because people are um, and I thought that everyone know but anyway you can still go and hold the other um, full moon reading um for 2018 because you're going to be seeing that coming up so let's check out and see what's coming up for you earth sign remember this is the full moon reading for the taurus virgo and capricorns taurus virgo and capricorns this is the, the earth sign people all right let's check out and see what is happening in the first house for the earth sign people so mother um mary archangel annual um venus all the planetary aspect please come up and show us what's coming up for um, the Capricorn okay uh, the earth sign people okay all right so okay let's earth sign people Neptune in yourself some of you and they're saying no. <laughs> Neptune is coming up um, in the self so a lot of you are going to be taken you're going to be finding um, your purpose in life you earth sign people you are going to be for oh, oh my god earth sign people I'm seeing who the Sun is in international so <gasps> Jupiter is in the 11th house so if you're having issues with Aquarian people you're going to be winning Bam, bam. Okay, so Jupiter is in your and Elin is um, forgiveness, and this is really, really good. This is good. Whenever Cryon is in the 12th house, it's like you're forgiven and Elin from deceptiveness, the things that was wrong, that was wrongly done to you. Okay, so the 11th house, I'm seeing um, your luck is in the 11th house, which. Um, the eleven house is coming to an edge. It's like you come to an, a, um, like an, an end to something. And this is why I said go check out because now you have your individual on demand reading, extended reading. Go check out your reading, Capis. Okay, so something came out. Okay, so I'm seeing you finding your true north, and it has to do with an, an Aries person. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing a lot of stuff coming up for you, Capis. Woo! Your um the sun is in the 
this perspective some of you be careful of a Leo a Libran is down justice is going to be coming up against a scorpion um, happiness with the family overseas abroad I'm seeing um, a Gemini wants to return to you there was some deceptiveness with an Aquarian that is going to be coming out oh my god healing with um, your ex-boss um, because they found out that what has been transpired healing with your ex-boss because they found out what has been transpired all right Angel annual mother Mary is here for you guys and Venus mother Mary and Venus is here for you earth sign people remember your your individual readings are on demand okay so Taurus have your own reading um, Capricorns Virgo have their own reading okay and it's only on demand three of these reading is less than it's like four dollars something three on the mom's readings okay so let's see what's coming up for the earth sign bam success oh earth sign bam bam Ooh, la 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 da 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 okay all right what is this okay I gotta find out what is this block with family what is this block with family what is this block message okay all right so that's good I gotta find out heart signs you're gonna be lucky all right just just to let you know that all right, Earth sign. Let's look at your first house. Let's look at your first house, and your first house is about yourself. Okay, your first house is about yourself. Whatever that is transpiring within you, okay, you as a person that is affecting you. I'm seeing some of you introspect. Whenever Neptune comes up, it's about you going within and thinking and making changes about yourself. Okay, you are looking at things about yourself and making changes about yourself, and this is going to be good because what is going to be happening and transpiring um, is that uh, um, by going within, I'm seeing that some of you are going to be connecting with your spirit guides because this, these two, is really your spirit guides working on behalf of you behind the. The veil okay so um and this especially if you're psychic and that sort of a thing i see um communication um with your work is going to be good because you're going to be do receiving a lot of downloads so whatever that is happening because i'm seeing your angels and guides are working with you um the, the unseen in the unseen world okay because um this is going to be good and I'm seeing success that is coming up okay um, it's as if an investigation it's as if you yourself is investigate and looking at yourself and criticizing yourself and taking critics of yourself okay so um, oh that is why it's definitely coming in all right so mm, from that so that is coming in so um yeah whatever is happening you know don't be worried about whatever is happening because it's going to be okay all right okay so we're looking at uh, the second house the second house of assets we're looking at the second house the second house of assets whatever is happening whatever is transpiring saturn is in your house of assets and it has to do with um you men could be affected saturn is in your house of assets and it could be that you men are going to be affected whatever that is happening i'm seeing saturn discipline with your financial um with your assets discipline is coming in you could find out that someone try um to steal um your assets and it's as if justice came in it could be kids it could be someone that tried to use your information but whoever this person is I'm seeing justice come in because Saturn comes in and like a whole lot of revving up stuff and 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 getting out things and you know and this is good because whatever is transpiring I'm seeing a whole lot of changes and I'm seeing because of a legal system against someone I'm seeing you receiving a lot of money but um, Saturn comes in to you know shake it up shake it up shake it up okay hold on a moment
Okay, so a lot change in my office in the evening, so I have to change. Right, now come the, the light in. Okay, so that is what is happening in your financial section because um, Saturn is going to be in your second house, your house of assets. That is the house of the Taurus. So it's going to affect the Tauruses that uh, um, Saturn is coming in to shake up your financial uh, stability. So you Tauruses, you got to hold on tight because if you have legal issues and that sort of a thing, Tauruses, um, Saturn is coming in in your second house that is your house and it's going to affect you Tauruses okay for the rest of you the Capricorns and the Virgo um, it's just gonna be a little shake up some of you could be standing up against someone who tried to use your information or steal something from you um, Saturn is coming up uh, to remove this person or these people or this situation let's say that someone tried to use your house as a uh, um, backative or they try to use your house um, papers to get whatever now you're going to be finding it out and it's going to be a shake-up okay all right so yeah you're definitely going to be finding out so in the third house the third house of perspective if you have a house with a Gemini I'm seeing you going to be winning the the house is going to be yours whatever that is happening between you and a Gemini because this is the house of the Gemini and the ascendance the outlook is as if some lies and deception and things that was going on is going to be coming out and the house is definitely you're going to be successfully having this house because some lies and deception that has transpired okay the truth is going to be coming out and I'm seeing you um, receiving this house fully because of what has happened and what has transpired I see that this house is you know if even I don't even think it's gonna be going to where there is uh, the court or other third parties I'm, I'm seeing this house just falling in your lap okay whatever the issue is and was they're going to be finding out that a Gemini has done some injustice or someone who is connected with a Gemini has done some injustice and the house is going to be turned over to you okay for some of you now for some of you whatever the issues that you're having with a house and uh, um, whatever issues that you are having with just surrounding how people think your outlook on certain thing is going to be much better and you're going to be realizing how you can resolve issues and situations around you okay so your outlook is going to be much better on things and you're going to be realizing how you can handle certain issues and situations around you now the fourth house is the house of your family is the house of your family and some of you are going to be realizing something about a family member some some of you when the north node sits in your house it has to do with past life issues okay so when the north node sits in your house it has to do with past life issues now whatever that was transpiring in a past life with this person this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this person is between the age of 18 and 45 you're gonna cut them down it's like it could be a family member or it could be someone from a past life okay it could be a family member or it could be someone from a past life whatever is happening and transpiring you're cutting down this person okay this person could have been a child from a past life or something like that they come back in this lifetime somehow you and this child it's not really it could be a child it could be a partner it could be a sister it could be a brother it's like back the F up now just back up back up because this is not happening <laughs> so, so and 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 trust me whenever family issues because family is about your home it's about your note notes is about you um, just being placed it's about your real estate it's about who you are it's about where you are from and this is what I'm trying to explain to a lot of people you can be born somewhere but that is not your north node maybe from the solar system that you came from and there's a lot of people who says you know I was born here but I have no connection that's true because you only came and were born there for something it can be the food 
um, it can be the climate some people just feel different you know and whatever it is you know who are you to judge another person if someone don't feel connected to something or someplace that that that's there and I think that some of you are going to be making that very clearly because I hear is that some of you are dealing with a family issue and as is if um, it's like they're saying you know uh, and they're having their own opinion and you're like listen you don't tell me what I feel and that is it a whole lot of people family always think they can tell them what they feel or whatever whoever this person is in an Aries Leo or Sagittarius I'm seeing some of you ladies saying back the hell up do not even try to cross my border whatever is happening whether it's a child whoever this person is they're going to this person is protecting themselves and protecting them their family so this could be you're hitting down on this areas because if it's someone that is affecting your family because there's one thing that people don't know about Capricorn people do not touch their families okay some of us not not all Capricorns but there is like some of us don't touch our families and don't touch our kids or our parents because that's when you're going to be seeing the backlash so I think that that is it and uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius either in the family or your family you're gonna be saying like back up you back the hell up because it's not happening here so check out for that family member or who is affecting your kids because I'm seeing you taking down someone who is affecting your kids now with the passion I'm seeing some of you really connecting um, with a uh, Pisces and I am seeing that you two are either in work or business um, this is really good either in work or business it's, it's, it's really good it's just wonderful it is a good balance between you guys I'm seeing you really enjoying I'm seeing you understanding each other I'm seeing um, connection so I'm seeing a lot of you really relaxing and having and if it's work I'm seeing this is really good because you're coming up with good ideas and I'm seeing also long-term stability is going to be coming up between you and this person whether it's work whether it's friendship however this person comes up in your life I'm seeing long-term stability is coming up I'm seeing that you and this person are going to be in a long-term um, relationship friendship whatever it is if it's business partner it is the right person and that is good for the house of passion because remember ladies and gentlemen that the house of passion it is oh it is what you um, think and what is happening for you okay There is just really there. There's just really some serious, seriously ill people in this world that needs some help. Okay, so we are moving on, and we are looking at the sixth house of career. I'm seeing a lot of deceptive people and situations. So, whatever that is happening, especially with a career, and uh, I'm seeing some of you. A part, you know, be careful. Um, it could be jealousy that is coming at you and this jealousy um, has to do with a cancer has to do with a Leo there's really some sick people in this world you know and I I you know I know I'm trying to separate people and see how people works out but you know you're screwed up there is really and I think earth sign people are the most stable and balanced people but there are just the other sign people they're really weird some of you at work is dealing with a Leo some of you at work is dealing with a cancer some of you at work is dealing with a scorpion some of you at work there is a whole lot of backstabbing is going on behind your back and you know something and I'm gonna tell you something um, hurt sign if you find this house look for another job look for another job that you feel comfortable with look for another job there's really some of your work working with an organization it is the wrong organization um, they're not coming from a good place you gotta be careful who these people are I'm seeing some of you working for peanuts you're not a monkey so stop working for peanuts okay 
because you're a very high professional person you are no monkey stop working for peanuts and stop making people disrespect you okay all right that is just my message if you want a personalized reading um, you gotta ask for it now we are looking at the seven house and you know something check and, and and ladies and gentlemen I just said this for there check your computer make sure that their people are not on your computer because honestly it's freak you the hell out because some of you will not be aware of that because um, it happens to me that someone put a device on my computer and was basically watching me I know the government does that it's good for them to do that because at least they can protect you and see what's happening but when um, um, criminals does that sort of a thing they access your old information okay um, each and every one of us and I can tell you this if you whatever computer you have um, the government watches you okay because they have to be protecting their borders they have to be protecting their companies but when criminal put something on your computer and using your information and accessing your information that's when you draw the line and whoever do, does that to you you need to stand up for injustice right because it wants you or someone um, who think they're and you know we live in a society where um, governments have to protect the borders but when criminal does it to you now you take down that person trust me because it has been done to me that I I found it out what they have done and I told you guys the last two and a half years is the same thing okay so we are in the seven house what is the energy of the seven house what and make sure that the government um, people are the right ones okay um, um the seventh house is um, relating now the seventh house is the house of partnership and companionship best friends marriage relationships I'm seeing the end is coming here um, with um, between you and uh, a Libran it could be a Libran but it could be a lawsuit also the end is coming here between you and um, yeah uh, it could be a lawsuit it could be um, some deceptive things that was happening and transpiring yeah it is definitely happening so whatever that is uh, um, transpiring and happening in the seventh house of friendship I'm seeing relationships could be um, ending friendships could be ending um, it could be a lawsuit um, where this is coming to an end okay if you had a lawsuit over a house or if there was a deceptiveness uh, with a situation with a house you're going to be finding out and the house is going to be yours okay so that is in the seventh house and the seventh house is relating to people and other people like as if you were divorced or you're separating or that sort of a thing whatever there was whatever lawsuit or legal suit and this is what I was saying if someone has an issue with a house within with and Gemini Libra Gemini waterman Gemini or Libra it's it's you know you're going to be ending up with the house because this is coming to an end all right the eight house of um, intimacy eight house of intimacy um, you have the energy of the Taurus the eight house of intimacy the energy of the Taurus now there is some of you if you are in a relationship with a Taurus the sex is going to be a, like a bombshell okay but um, for the rest of the signs it's uh, let's say it's not a good month for sex <laughs> I am moving on ladies and gentlemen <laughs> okay all right uh, okay for the other signs okay let's move on so Tauruses and Capricorns and have a good time so if you're a Virgo and a Capricorn a Virgo and a Taurus the sex is going to be good um, Taurus and a Capricorn the sex is going to be good for the rest of you for the rest of the other people 
this means that guess what uh, do I have to do it because it's not that good <laughs> it's wasted my time I'm moving on I'm moving on all right let's look at international travel people overseas family and that sort of a thing so we're moving on to the ninth house <laughs> We're moving on to the ninth house, and the ninth house has to do with customers, um, you know, people overseas, friends, family, and that sort of a thing. Definitely, 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 what is happening and what is transpiring. Um, we are definitely seeing that uh, some success is going to be coming to you, but also come to family, okay? Whatever the issues, whatever the blocks, whatever. Um, blocks with your business overseas that is going to be lifted up because I'm seeing news coming in and this news is going to bring some changes I'm seeing that some of you it could be blocks with family overseas or block with friendships or block with your business whatever it has to do but um, the outcomes is that there is some unexpected luck that is going to be coming in okay because I'm seeing that some of you your business was blocked overseas and it comes and you found this out and I think um, they're going to be finding out it is this if someone tried to block your business overseas or they did something but it's as if the light is going to be shining on it and they're going to be finding out that these that someone tried to um, either use your information or your business information and try to block you or something like that but they're going to be finding out the truth and um, with the Sun and the Sun in the ninth house whatever it was international travels wh whether you were traveling and whoever steal your stuff when you were traveling or whoever was trying to block you when you were traveling I think everything is coming out everything is coming out because there is news that is coming in and you're going to be finding out they're going to be trying to hush hush a situation and try to pay some of you a lot but they found out exactly what has happened on your travel so let's say that you you had an issue when you were traveling a couple months ago in the summer and you found out that people tried to block you on whatever that was trying that was happening that was deceptive um what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be happening is that the truth is going to be coming out okay definitely the truth is going to be coming out and this is why i say to a lot of you people this is why i say to a lot of you people just let it go let it go because i'm seeing um some unexpected news is going to be coming in so they could have find who have done it or whatever that has transpired okay let's look at your house Capricorn let's look at your house Capricorn and I gotta go back to the Virgo house because in the Virgo's house you have a lot of enemies okay you Virgos you have a lot of enemies go check out your personalized reading Virgos this is the sixth house you have a lot of enemies I'm not I'm not hiding this this was the house where I told you about the cancer I didn't even show you this is the house of the Virgos Virgos you have a lot of enemies you gotta be careful between the time of 15 October and 15 November you got a lot of enemies especially a cancer and whoever the cancer and a Leo is you have a lot of enemies you gotta stand your guard against these people because you Virgos are going to be finding out about these people okay now we're moving to the house of the Capricorn your house is the house of the repetition and you Capricorns um, you Capricorns um, are dealing with a Gemini so here again I said to some of you you Capricorns are dealing with a Gemini and a Gemini and your reputation and you're going to be turning your back so this is it again the Gemini came up because in their house I'm seeing you receiving the key and I'm seeing that you Capricorns are going to be successful so whatever is happening between you and a Gemini with a house honey child you're standing your ground taking your house back and turning your back to this person okay you're definitely 
turning your back to this person and it has to do with an Aries so again I'm seeing you guys taking down the Aries because um, it was a family person or someone who tried to do something in a family or whatever but whatever is transpiring here I'm seeing you guys taking down the Aries and repairing your reputation or the reputation of a Gemini so some of you could be rep repairing the reputation of a Gemini because an Aries tried to take down a Gemini okay however way this comes up I'm seeing that you guys are definitely going to be having some luck okay definitely having some luck really definitely having some luck so Capricorns be aware of an issue with a Gemini um, I'm seeing you looking and leaving a situation behind that has to do with an Aries um, some of you Capricorns was working with a younger Aries um, this person a very deceptive person um, this person some of you Capricorn this young lady you used to work with this young lady at a company and the young lady works with another lady and they try to change your information and they're going to be caught because now they're going to be finding out if the company it's a shady company so you um, you Capricorns were there you're very professional but this child has never had a work before the child lies about where she's from the child lies but you realize her story so you kind of keep her off but when she realized that she could not come neck with you she tries to um, create something but this is like in the past but now you're 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 picking her up and a Gemini she and a Gemini worked against you to ruin your repetition a reputation in a company and you're taking it back because you're taking them down because she and the Gemini she and the Gemini um, the, the Gemini lie and, and the Gemini the Gemini bleach her skin that's all I'm getting <laughs> okay I, I gotta let this go for a personalized reading but anyway some of you were working in a company with a young Aries these are two women this Gemini is very old this Gemini is very old and uh, she pretends as if it's a little Miss Bucket she pretends as if she's what but God knows universal angel let us forgive forgiveness is the key and they try to ruin your reputation but the truth came out because you told exactly what was going on in this corporation and they're going to be finding out that the uh, the Gemini the, the Aries is lying and the Aries has been stealing from everybody stealing from the company and stealing from everybody in the corporation because the Aries got someone to put something on the phone and now everything is coming out so the Aries is taking down the Gemini with her oh my god but the Capricorn because they tried to ruin um whether it's a Capricorn or one of you guys reputation but these two people oh my god it's a and the Gemini now is trying to um, shringle or self-help but this woman is an old woman what are you doing creating things but they're going to find out that the Aries have been stealing from all of them and the company oh my god the Aries is going to prison the Gemini is going to be receiving help because the Gemini um, is going to say that she has nothing to do but they they try to ruin a, a Capricorn reputation now and the, the thing about it is that I'm seeing the Taurus and the Virgo helping this Capricorn because the Taurus and the Virgos realize um, that it was because of jealousy because uh, um, it was like um, whatever that is happening I'm seeing you earth sign picking up for you earth sign because you realize that it was just jealousy whatever has happened in this corporation this corporation is uh, um, criminal is a criminal organization and these two people are going to get fired the heiress is going to go to jail for a very long time <laughs> okay gotta go gotta go gotta go all right the 11th house is where um, um 
is where Jupiter is in so the 11th house is the house of the Aquarian and whatever an Aquarian has done against you earth sign people they are going to be falling on their face so again you're going to be winning and winning big time over this Aquarian because whoever this Aquarian and what they tried to do an Aquarian tried to steal something from you and now they're going to be finding out what has happened whether is a man because I see a man here okay and is that yeah it's the seven is an Aquarian so I definitely some deceptiveness that has happened between you and Aquarian okay so it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be someone in a corporation that's an Aquarian that tried to do something because you fall in their houses and they try to steal something and they are going to be caught now if you're in a relationship I'm seeing some of you could be connecting with an Aquarian man could be coming in form for you okay <clears throat> All right there now some of you could be having luck with this man some of you could all right some of you um, luck in this house um, and this is humanity groups and so where this could be um, people in um, like there's an investigation and there is someone who is investigating something and realizing how deceptive the situation and and the whole networking is and they're going to just really care they're going to fall in love with you because they realize that you you have nothing to do with this you know you, you you're just so a peaceful person you do the best and whatever and you're going to be finding this out now the 12 and last house i'm seeing cry on so i'm seeing um most of you earth sign people is going to be forgiven forgiveness is going to be the key i'm seeing you forgiven let go and walk away now capricorns i know you forgive but you don't forget and you know people are always saying forgive and forget now i will forgive you but i ain't forgetting okay and um uh, you know capricorn and it depends we will forgive and forget certain things like if we really care about you and we love you um and you know we think a hey, hey, you know like i am a spiritual person just so i i can forgive and forget but like there is just certain people and certain situation i can forgive but i won't forget that okay like the people like you know if i'm abused or a ras i am like no I don't want to I just just stay away from me so a lot of you like we always you know you always are going to be forgiving your friends and forgiving situation with your friends but like for someone who really set out to hurt you and deceive you I, I'm, I'm I, I see the forgiveness coming in but I don't see the forget forgetting coming in because I think people said forgive and forget no I think forgive but never forget what people have done sorry and I'm very spiritual trust me but I will forget I will forgive but I'm not forgetting because I I just think that if you set out to hurt someone um I can forgive you but if I give you another chance you're going to do the same thing and that's 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 my point of view I'm seeing that there is there needs to be a forgiveness for some of you with someone in power who have done some injustice I see some of you needs to forgive a boss I am seeing but you know and you know this is a good question this 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 and and, and this is really good because I'm seeing that some of because you know as earth sign people forgiving someone in power or someone who used their power over you that's my question to you guys um, my advice I need you to take a look if there is someone who is in power if you go to a lawyer and you ask a lawyer to help you and the lawyer 
um, works against you when the lawyer know um, that you are the who they say you are. Forgiveness? I, I forgive you, but I'm not forgetting. And I'm going to make sure that the law deal with you in the right way. You know, that's my thing. Because it's a lawyer. Why are you a lawyer? You took the, a board exam to help someone. Why would you know and sell and give someone else's someone else's information when you know the person is the person? So forgiveness? Uh, why should I forgive you? You took an exam to keep the law and to protect each citizen until um, pleaded guilty. And you know, you know that the person was the person who they said they was. And what you did was to give someone else's their information, sell their information. Alrighty, this is where I stop. Because forgiveness is the key. And I can forgive you, but I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm not going to forget it. And I'm letting the law deal with you because what you have done is wrong. Okay. So that's another example of someone in power. Um, someone, uh, you know, people who have the power and can access your information, but yet still they know you are the person and they give your information to someone. Yeah. It's very hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's very hard. You can forgive this person, but you can't forget it because if you are in the power to help someone and you're misusing your power, seriously, let's think about it. Namaste.